Hello, my name's Ivan. Today we're going to do a step-by-step -step Azure creation. So we're going to log into the portal, we're going to create a virtual machine and the network security group and all the infrastructure around that. Then we're going to log into the virtual machine, we're going to install IIS and FTP, so Internet Information Services and File Transfer Protocol uh, to enable us to host the website and to transfer files to the website. We're going to then create a very, very basic web page. We're going to set up the firewall and the network security group to allow the traffic in and out. And then we're going to um, actually FTP the web page up to the website and then we're going to view it. So buckle up and let's get going. Okay, so here we are. We're going to log into the portal. And if you haven't got an account, it is worth getting one. Um, Microsoft are actually offering $200 at the moment, um, which is towards stuff generally. I mean, it is very, very reasonable. Uh, so you'll have trouble spe spending that. Okay, that's my two-factor authentication. We don't want to stay signed in. And I'm going to create a resource. So that's going to be Windows Server. It's going to be a new resource group. And this is Web Server Resource Group. And the virtual machine, I'm just going to call it VM1. And the nearest to me is UK South. And then we just need to give it a username and a password we're going to remember. We'll write it down. And we do need to leave this port open. If we don't, we won't be able to remote onto it, which we're going to do in just a minute. So let's just review and create that. So it's all the default settings, um, the disks, networking, everything as default, and it's going to cost seven pence per hour. So that is very reasonable. But it is a very basic um, sort of thing we've got here. So right so that's going to spin up now and i'm just going to how long is this going to take it shouldn't take too long let's see right i'm just gonna oh no there we go no need to pause the um video so that's real time for you so I'm just gonna copy this public IP address and then into my Windows 10 machine search on for RDP, which will bring up remote desktop connection. And then I'm gonna paste that public IP address into it and put in my username and password. And yes, because there's no SSL certificate. And then just as if I'd actually started or built um, a server, a software build on it, um, it will now start all the services and stuff, build all the all the directories and everything for it. So like, just like the first time you start Windows, really. So if we have a look under the bonnet. You can see everything is starting out here. So if we go to processes, they're all springing into life. And it's actually pretty quick. So I just need to wait for the third one of these to come up here.
Do I? Oh, there we go. Just come up. Right, so next. Next. And yeah, take that. And here, I want to install the IIS. And we're going to add features to it. And those are going to be roles. And the role is FTP service. So, and then we're going to install that. And that's going to go through the installation. Now, while that's doing that, it's going to take just a little while. I'm going to make a very quick web page. It's not going to be the prettiest thing on two legs, but this is on my machine. Oh, on my machine now. So, um, for those of you who are au fait with HTML, I apologise now. But we just want to prove a point with this. So I'm going to say HTML and body. Right. Let's put a head and then end the head. And actually, I think I'll leave that empty. Um, and then body and end the body. Oh. Body. And then in in Boudet, I'm just going to have an H1, and that is going to be H1 is the biggest heading. Hello, world! Exclamation mark. And I'm going to end the H1. There we go. Notepad plus plus. If you don't have it. It's again free download um, and it just marks things up for you quite nicely. So that I am going to save with, to my desktop, which you never really do. Um, and yeah, so there's that. And then, so if I bring that over to the right screen. Yeah, I just need to change the extension on it. So it's now a TXT document. If you um, don't see this TXT, if you open up Control Panel, under File Explorer Settings or Folder Options, if you've got an older version of Windows, um, you go to View and it will be checked like that, so you won't see the file extension. All right, sorry. It will be. Da, 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 da. Yeah, <laughs> Can't see the wood for the trees. Right, so it'll just be like that. So you just need to change this, take this tick out of the box, hide extensions from known file types and apply. And then you can see it. And then you can just say, I want to change that, but rather than be TXT, I want to make it HTML. So, and then this is telling me if you rename the file extension, it's going to change the way the file is used. So I'm going to say yes to that. And now it makes it Firefox. So if I open that up, it says hello world go okay. so that's at the moment sitting on my desktop so how is my server doing and that's all done so we'll close that and we'll close that because we finished with that for the moment and we then go to Administrative Tools and IIS, Internet Information Service. And on this, on the actual server, the VM1, um, I need to do this here. Do not try and do it after you've added the FTP site because it will be greyed out. So what you need to do is 
set the channel set the channel to pull range up. So we can do it from sixty thousand to sixty five thousand. We're gonna say anything that comes in from from those ports or in that port range send to myself. So it's a loop back address. Um <clears throat> which is whatever my actual IP is, send it back to this address. So apply and OK. And then on our sites, we're going to add an FTP site. So right click it, add FTP site. And I'm just going to give this a name, call it Fred. And so where do you want it to go? Now the default region for this to go to is or the default the default file file location is C inet pub dub 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 root and then we have this web page here um, ask me later so and that's basically what people are going to see when they um, log on to this website at the moment because that's what's in there and that's set as default the default is actually index um, and that's what I've called my web page index.html so we will say uh, inet pub dub 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 root and ok so whatever's in there that's where our FTP is going to go to and we say next and we won't have any SSL because this isn't an active server. And we're going to have basic authentication. And we're going to say specified users. And the user that we're going to give access to is our user that we created earlier. And we're going to say read and write access for that. So that's finished. Okay. And then close that. And so that's our firewall sorted and the FTP service sorted. That's on the actual server. So what we need to do now is sort the uh, network security group out. So this is for the network and this is effectively the firewall for the network. So on my VM here, I'm going to go to networking and network, secu network security group. So um, here, and I'm going to set the inbound rules. So the first thing I want to add to the inbound rules is I want to allow FTP. So this file transfer protocol on port 21. Well, that is a port for file transfer protocol. So I'm just going to call that FTP. And I'll add that. And then I want to add, um, it's not in there. So I'm going to add port 20, which is FTPS. So I'm going to call that FTPS. And I'm going to add the 60,000 to 65,000 as TCP and FTP data. Okay, so I'll add that. And then obviously you want to add HTTP because otherwise I won't be able to get much of a, a request for a web page, let alone send one out. So, and while I'm at it, I want to add HTTPS. That's on port 443. And add and then on the outbound rules I need to add HTTP and these names would need to be unique and add that don't know if you can hear my gardener um, and HTTPS
out. And um, so that's that for the moment. Oops. So I've configured the FTP server, um, allowed one user in with the password. I've done the firewall on the actual server and I've done the network security group. So question is, can we actually connect to it? So that's my IP, which is still in my uh, copied. Um, admin and password. So quick connect. And it hangs. So there is a reason for that. And the reason is you've got to run one more thing on your server. So it took me a while to find this. Um, so learn from my mistakes. And that is a command prompt. So I'm going to run command as administrator. And the command line is nature advanced firewall. I get this wrong as many times as I get it right, so we'll see. Nature advanced firewall set global state uh, pull FTP enable. So yes. So and then we need to stop the FTP service. You can do this in services. If you no, you need to net stop FTP service. You can do this in services if you want. If you don't like command line, but hey ho, uh, and then net start strat. FTP service. Okay, and then if we go to my machine again and connect, we get straight in. And we've got that same directory. Let me bring up my remote desktop connection, which is there. Um, can I have FileZilla line on top of that? Yep. And so, actually, from my local machine, if I, that's the one from my desktop, but if I then copy in the public IP address, I get the IIS splash screen. Okay. So, if I actually go to my desktop, let's refresh that. Oh, I didn't change the name of it. So, see, so last modified, so it's new one. So, if I transfer that over and then change the name of it. Run new one. If I change it to index.html, more haste, less speed. And then refresh this, which is on my computer. So let's just minimize that. Refresh that. It says hello world. So how cool is that? So um, there you go. This is actually my first ever video that I'm posting. Um, so if you do like it, I would really appreciate it if you could like it, comment, or even subscribe, because I'm going to be doing some more. Um, that'd be fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've gained something for this from this. But thanks very much. All the best. Bye-bye.